Hi, welcome to another Amanda Adams Auctions Overview. We'll be talking about the auction coming up on Monday night, June the 4th, and the viewing for that auction will be on Saturday, June the 2nd, from 11am to 4pm, and Monday, June the 4th, from 12 noon to 6pm. The auction starts at 6.30. I've got to answer the phone. It must Don't be somebody somebody wanting to know about the auction. Already? Yeah. Oh. Amanda Ed oh. No one. <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> Always the case. People well, people selling systems and, and inks and things like that, getting their quota up. I know. Okay, come on, tell okay. us about some things. Well, I find that interesting, David. Well, let me first tell you about some of the important art we have in the auction. This is probably the best collection of art we've had in the auction rooms for quite a few years. Just follow me this way. I'll talk about a couple of the works here. Stunning 1980s work by Ray Crook. Uh, lovely colours as well. For these, these are all from a private collection in Mont Albert. Uh, the owner's gone into a nursing home. We've got about 30 paintings from the house and uh, a large amount of furniture and decorative wares. Another interesting work from the same house. Large work by Henry Hankey called The Captive from 1942. And there's uh, a lot of very interesting provenance about the painting. Stunning work. It looks like one of the Lindsay brothers, it doesn't does. it? It looks like a, a Raymond Lindsay. Um, it really does. It's Very like similar it. style. It is, but it's a it, large size. It's got the original light fitting you can put on. It probably needs a clean and revarnish, but that won't cost you a fortune. It'll, it'll look absolutely stunning afterwards. Well, what about this one up here, David? Uh, there's a, in the, from the same household, there's a lot of works uh, by Indonesian artists. This one's... Uh, Moses Misty. Moses Misty. Yes, and this one here. That uh, one looks like David Ho's grandfather. It does. I think his name was Dulak. Was it Dulak? Dulula. 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 Both. Dula. Uh, both listed Indonesian artists. David Ho's artists. grandma. Yes. Good looking woman. And from the same household, if you follow me around this way. A very large, impressive early John uh, Loxton. From another house we uh, picked up a uh, painting from, from an older lady in Malvern. There's a very early Buckmaster right next to you there. Just follow the... just along there. That's yeah, a nice work. A, from about 1925. And from the same Some nice house, and bits and pieces in here. This is also from the same house in Malvern. A very impressive uh, early, uh, late twenties, early thirties work by Leslie Wilkie, the sitting room. Lovely. It is, and it would do uh, make a big difference once it's cleaned and revarnished. It's very dry, but the colours will come up looking absolutely stunning. And throughout the auction room, if you look around, there's uh, a large amount of works. Uh, by David Bromley, Charles Blackman, uh, Lucy Bo uh, Boyd Beck. I like this little work. Oh, that's by Septimus Power. Harold Septimus Power? Harold Septimus Power. A uh, 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 little work from... Must have been a prize-winning cow. He must have been. He's got a bell on him too. And this is Leon Hanson, Sydney Harbour. This is also from the same... Can well, we... this is my favourite thing in the auction. Oh, let me have a look at it. I'll open it. I'll open it up. It's got the original box, the original instructions. This is a 1927 uh, Child Singer sewing machine in as new condition. And it also has the full provenance from 1927. Given to a six-year-old. That's right. What a present for a six-year-old. And I've never seen them in the original boxes either. No. So that's, that's a real prize. I have, but only in the cardboard boxes, not timber that's boxes. Right. 
And that one's dovetailed as well. And the, uh, that must have been top of the range. I think it was. Low estimate. I think we've got a hundred dollar starting bid for it. And throughout the whole auction, we have uh, artworks, decorative works. You walk around. I like the, all these collections of uh, huge Mary collection Greg of Mary Gregory. Mary Gregory from one collector in Hastings. He's decided to sell his collection. I think we've got about fifty pieces. Thereabouts, yeah. And if you look over in this cabinet as well, there's more Mary Gregory. Uh, can you show the um, viewer the lovely female medicinal dolls? Yeah. Can I open this one? Maybe it's because it's locked. Well, it's not always open. We've got five uh, graduated sizes. They're made out of ivory. Very scarce. And they used to use them. Uh, so these are not porcelain ones, which is no. more common. This is ivory. These are the ivory ones. They used to use them uh, for modesty purposes. The women that used to go... So get... if a woman said, I heard here on her shoulder... Exactly, I heard here, I heard here. They or elsewhere. <laughs> they used to point with a little stick. I didn't even touch the dolls either. And there's uh -huh. five of them. There. And these are quite rare. And they're all different sizes. Graduated sizes. We've sold one or two in the past. But not in ivory. ivory. Uh, yes, we have. Oh, yeah, I don't remember but ivory. not five in one auction. No, that's quite a lot. I'm fascinated by this work over here, David. This cubist sort of a work. Uh, it's an African work. We didn't find any African, is it? So we don't know who it is. Oh, it's signed Nazama. But you I don't know who Nazama is. not any information on Nazama, so hopefully some of those African collectors out there uh, will give us an idea. Uh, couldn't find any information on the artist. And there's also a Picasso we've got in the auction. Before you go to the Picasso, yes. in that cabinet, I find that art glass um, vase, the round one with the relief butterflies, really interesting. Oh, yes. And it's uh, not old, but it's very interesting. It's about 80, Take a lot of skill. A lot of skill to make that. Well, it's made by Colin Heaney. Who's a very famous Australian uh, glass blower? Well, I'm so glad he's famous. He is. Well, he must be good if he can do that. A fantastic colour too. If you hold it up to the lights, you can see. Can you see that? Can the camera pick all that up? Don't know. We'll give it a bash. <laughs> yeah. Put that back. And that orangey one, the one with the oh, orange so the flowers. French ones, so That's French, is it? Yeah, signed. I like that too. Lovely enamel nice decoration. And it's Marvis, enamel. Yeah. I like this one. Hmm. Well, you know how much I like Art Deco. Yeah. And this is Art Deco. <laughs> oh, it is Art Deco. Oh, yes. And what about the Bromleys? I like the boy. Which boy? The big you boy. Like? The, the big boy with the lighthouse. The lighthouse. Well, they're all nice, different. but I like the boy with the lighthouse. Well, apparently, the yellow nude's quite rare because he didn't do that many in yellow. No, I can't say we've had one in yellow no, before. No, this is the first time we've ever had one in yellow. Mm-hmm. And along this side, if you walk around... But I do way, like this big one. He, he's nice. I like the look in his eye. Full of wonder of the world. That's right. No, he's, I like him. Well painted. Uh, some uh, Charles Blackmans. These are late ones from 2008 and 2009. But still very collectible. And the Picasso. It looks like a Picasso, doesn't it? Well, we're cataloguing as unknown artists. I like that. That's very nice. It has a Picasso look about it. And what about this? This is really unusual. Oh, I've never seen this. This one's interesting. This is by Goldscheider. And so it, this is what, 1950s? Um, no. This is... Earlier? This is 1939, 1940. Oh, that early. And I haven't found this one in the uh, Goldscheider catalogue. But the interesting thing about this lamp base, double-sided wow. figures. So it would look fabulous uh, uh, in front of a mirror. It would. So you could see it needs both. to be centre in the room. Yeah. And there's the uh, signature as well, the uh, early signature. This is by Marcel Goldscheider. This is after he left Vienna uh, and went to America. So this is a very early American Goldscheider piece. But definitely one that is not in the books. I'll come over this way. We're going to show you some interesting things over here. Some other artworks which I really like. This is a Lucy uh, Beck Boyd ceramic tile. And she was uh, she did fabulous works on uh, on ceramic tiles. 
This is uh, no exception. And along this way. I like this one here, Govan. Who's this by? It's a French school. We don't know. Again, we don't know who it is, we but very, know very, from... very competent artist. It is. And that's another Loxton. Yes, that's, that's that's painted a few months before he died in 1969. This one's interesting too. Who's that by? Uh, that's by an Israeli artist. Wow. Couldn't find any information on him, but it's well painted. And along this wall. Uh, a cover uh, of the late 70s, early 80s. This one was purchased at a charity auction? Charity auction in 1990. Uh-huh. And uh, a rare work by... I like that. Uh, ...a Melbourne artist, Justin Gill, called The Fisher Boy, from 1952. And this one? That's a work by Louis Cahan. Doesn't it's, look like a Louis Cahan. It does not at all. And Very different. This was painted in Paris in 1972. But it kind of looks like the dandenongs as well, really. Where can you see the dandenongs? Uh, uh, Where the, can you see in, the dandenongs? I don't know, in, in the there? wind. In the wind. In the wind. Okay. Yes, the colours and the wind. I, I beg to differ. <laughs> now... Maybe I need new glasses. I think, how about... No. If you take over... And Can you tell them about the couch? Juliana calls it pimp oh, couch. Oh, the, the witch? She calls it the pimp, uh, pimp couch. This is made in 1970 by Van der Rosa. And uh, we knew the owners very well. And uh, unfortunately, they have to sell this. It's uh, fabulous, isn't it? Fabulous one in fabulous condition. Uh, you can see... It. You can see eight or nine people here. Or three people sleeping. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, oh, before I forget, with one piece of furniture as well, a 1958 uh, Fred Lowen Fleur Lanchley in fully re in restored condition. And what, Fabulous colours. What I like about this, I tried this out before. Have a look at this. I hope it doesn't fall over. Oh. Doesn't that feel good? So they recline. They recline as a double recline. <laughs> do, not, I have, do I have not, to get up Not your now? best angle, David. Do I have to get up again? Yes. Okay. Show oh. us things in this cabinet. No, I want you to have a look at the things in that cabinet. Lots of oriental bronzes. Don't you want to have a look at them, Mandy? Oh. Okay, things in there. Well, the cabinet is locked, so we can't show you anything <laughs> in that cabinet. We locked the uh, cabinet. Worcester. Uh, French art class, lots of very good estate jewellery, William Ricketts, sterling silver. Miniatures. Miniatures. In fact, uh, we look at the other cabinet there too, we've looked at that one too. Along here, lots of interesting Chinese and Japanese bronzes. Along this section. In fact, wherever you look, there are interesting things throughout the auction. And I guess if, some, if something good comes along before the day of the auction, well, we're going to take it in exactly. and list it as an A-lot. That's right. Oh, that's because the more the merrier. I really like this. This is Let's nice. Let's see if the public know where this oh, is. I think I've just shown them the signature. Yeah, we know who the artist is, but I, uh, I bet you they can't guess where it is. It's in Melbourne. It's Melbourne. Yes, but I won't say let them... We're in Melbourne at the uni. Let them have a look at the catalogue, lot 270 in the catalogue, and work out where it is. It's changed a little bit since then. This was probably early 1950s. So has it been rebuilt? Uh, behind it, yes. Uh, so it's... The, oh, the Rialto! Oh, you weren't... The Rialto! Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's the Rialto. It's the Rialto. <laughs> and before we forget to... Uh, as a charity lot, we are selling the, the free uh, painted chairs that didn't sell at the Pink Ribbon Day auction. And it's totally tax deductible. We're not charging any commission. We're not making anything out of this. But uh, it would be a good chance to buy some well-known artists as well. A bit free chairs in the auction. Mm -hmm. Have we seen anything that we need? I think you better tell them to come and have a look, David. I think so. I think the best thing to do is have a look at the website uh, about a week before the auction. We'll have all the photos, the full catalogue, uh, all the information about the auction. 
Uh, if there's any queries or uh, condition reports or any other queries about the items in the auction, please contact us. Otherwise, come along to the viewing on Saturday the 2nd of June from 11 to 4 or Monday the 4th of June from 12 noon till 6 o'clock and we'll see you at the auction. Bye.